Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting and in this video we want to talk about building your controllers. Should you go out, buy individual circuit board controllers and receivers um, or should you go out and buy something totally pre-built? Um, the answer is not cut and dry, 100% in one direction for everybody, though at the end I'll give you my opinion. Uh, <laughs> But um, it, it's multifaceted. You know, ultimately, uh, it comes down to a little bit what you want. And I'm here to help guide you into finding the right thing. So if you're new here, this is Learn Christmas Lighting, where we teach people how to create an awesome light display uh, and keep it as low stress as possible. And one of the things that can cause people stress are controllers. Now, in this video, I'm not talking about what brand of controller you should buy. I'm not talking about what type of controller you should buy, whether you go long range or local short range controllers. But what I want to talk about is this simple question. Should I build my own controller or should I buy a pre-built controller? Let's dive in. So when it comes down to it, you've kind of got two options. We've got options that are, well, three options, I guess. Three to, I don't know. There's, there's so many options out there. But there's two main options, right? There's, do I buy something that's already pre-built, already put together from a factory or from somebody's shop? Or do I go buy myself a controller, a power supply? Turn it the other way for you guys. Controller, power supply receiver boards, wire, pigtails, network cables, power supplies, more power supplies. I think I said power supplies already. Do I buy all that stuff, S mounting plates, spend my time assembling it all together so that at the end of the day, I have a controller box? Or do I buy something like this that's a hand-built controller box from somebody who builds them themselves. Um, ultimately, you know, the first question I think I ask and I ask people when you're helping to determine this is, do you genuinely enjoy putting together projects like this? Because if you enjoy it and you appreciate the cost savings, though that keeps getting smaller um, as to how much you save doing it yourself, then go build it yourself, gosh darn it. Get out of here. Right? Uh, because, you know, if you enjoy it that much, then you should do it yourself, right? Um, that's, you know, pretty easy. Um, but if you don't find an especial love and joy in building controllers, how do you decide whether to build it yourself or whether to buy it? Well, you know, the first is you want to take care and you want to think about your time, right? If you're building one of these controllers, like we said, you've got to go to a place or multiple places and you gotta place orders, right? You've gotta get the enclosure, you've gotta get the mounting boards, you've gotta get the power supplies, you've got to get wire and cable, pigtails going out to your lights, the controller board itself, network cables, um, and maybe receivers, right? Okay, all of that goes together inside of a box like this before you can assemble it. As opposed to going somewhere like Mattos Designs, buying a dragging controller with the power supplies included, and literally your entire controller bill is pulling it out of the box and plugging it in and using it. Okay, now it might sound like I'm saying, okay, never go and build your own controller, always go buy it. I don't think that's the case. I do think there's some serious advantages though. If all other things are equal, meaning that the controller you're buying has the amount of ports you need, uh, whether it's pre-built or build yourself. If it has the ports you need, if it has the capabilities you need, and these two controllers are otherwise equal, and you don't have a love for building controllers, I can tell you, and we're gonna hop into the computer in a second and examine this, that ultimately there's not a ton of cost savings to building it yourself over buying a pre-built, okay? Um, when it comes to receivers though, that changes a little bit. These little guys with a power supply often cost a good bit less in an enclosure than buying something commercially built. So 
why don't we hop over to the computer, take a look at this a little bit more in depth, look at some real numbers, at least on the day that I record this, which is March 16th, 2023, and show you how you could make the decision for yourself. Let's dive in. So for the in-computer part of this uh, video, I just went and brought up uh, some different controllers. So we're going to look up the Dragon here on the Learn Christmas Lighting Store. Uh, we've got Culp Lights here. We've got Beaching Controllers. Um, they offer a variety of pre-built Falcon and Culp and Experience Lights controllers, all three. Uh, we're just going to go to the Culp page for now. We've got Pixel Controller, which has uh, both ready to run and DIY controllers. And then we have Experience Lights, which I'm gonna just pull up their newest controllers. Okay. Um, and we're gonna talk about all three. Um, talk about what I think, talk about what could be the best for you. So first things first, the Matos Dragon. Just for the sake of comparison, oh, I'm gonna go to wiredwatts.com too. Um, just for the sake of comparison, if I go buy a Dragon controller, I get eight local outputs and four long range receiver outputs that can do up to six receivers each, okay, um, through the Genius controller brain that's inside of it. It is $400. If I go to Wired Watts, they have this build a kit page, which is a great way to go to the build a controller kit, and I choose a K8B and a Bud MBF 32016. This is now a very similar controller, right? Eight local ports, two long range ports instead of four, I believe, or three long range ports. Um, let's just check real quick, just to be sure. Yeah, so three sets of long range ports instead of four, um, but very similar to the Dragon. Okay, if we just take this, we have the controller, beagle bone, SD card extender, SD card, enclosure mounting plate, short pigtails, cable glands, power supply, cord, network glands, black wire, red wire, labels, all the stuff. This comes to 322. Uh, both are before shipping. Um, and so what that shows me is like, okay, you have pretty much an identical controller. And you save by buying, or you spend by, or you save by doing it yourself about $77.90, okay? Um, ultimately, in my mind, that's not really worth the time it takes to build it because putting together a full controller like this, it is going to take you some time. Um, it's not instant. It's not super quick. You know, you've got to attach all the wires, test everything, make sure it works. And the end result that you get, I would argue, isn't quite as nice and as polished as the Dragon Output Controller, okay? Now, let's, let's go a little deeper, okay? So let's say I went ahead and go to Beach and Christmas Controllers, and they've got, they build these, and they're a great company, very reputable. Um, they've got a K8 controller in a, a K8 in a standard controller. Let's try that one, okay? So this one gives you a 350 watt power supply, Wi-Fi adapter, network cables, um, and that's really it. And it's actually more than the Dragon controller, um, right? Or we do the PB, um, and it goes up a little, but I, I do like the pocket beagles. Actually, I like the beagle bones better. Never mind. Anywho. <laughs> so that goes to show you that here it's actually more expensive to buy it pre-built uh, than to buy the equivalent uh, Matos Dragon controller, right? Um, you know, as you go up in size and controller, obviously, like, the cost difference can, can be less. Um, so let's take, for example, a K16A in a standard controller. So this is a K16AB with two power supplies. Um, it is 625. And if we go to the build a controller kit, we see that our total cost is 444. So yeah, as you go to bigger controllers, ones with more ports on them locally, it may make more sense to build it yourself. It may be less expensive. Um, and that's something worth looking into. Um, so the, the answer is not like a thousand percent cut and dry. Um, let's go on to something that is more cut and dry. So, for example, Falcon, okay? So an F16 V4 
by itself is 275. Any ready to run box is 525. Um, I can tell you off the top of my head, um, you know, we go and we say the controller itself is 275. And then those enclosures are probably about 35 bucks these days. The uh, this type of controller here. The mean wells are always about 30 bucks. Um, cable and wire, let's say, is 20 bucks, including all the pigtails. Um, the inlet wire, all of that, and the mounting board is about five. So, you know, that gives you, you know, maybe 365 if you do it yourself, maybe a little bit more. Um, and you do save money comparatively. Um, so the basic gist here is, you know, my opinion at least is that a manufactured, you know, you know, bulk run controller like the Dragon uh, from Matos presents an amazing value. Um, really great, a lot in it for the cost. Um, I don't really, unless you really hate putting controllers together or you've never done it and you don't want to do it, um, I probably wouldn't myself go buy something that was pre-built in the hobbyist way, meaning that they buy an enclosure, they put all the stuff together, you know, somebody's doing it in their workshop. It's, it's the same as the DIY product, basically. It's just somebody else did it, right? Um, I probably wouldn't recommend that. Here's what I would recommend to everyone doing yourself. If we look at the Dragon receivers, like the Brainless right here is $155, or the Intelligent, the Smart Receiver is $289. These I would build yourself, unless you really hate building controllers. Um, let me walk you through a simple, inexpensive way to build these, okay? So say we go here, uh, you'll have to go to a few places, but it's okay. Um, and you go here to DIY controllers, and then, for example, on the home page, they have new, Falcon has these, um, other people have them, where is it? The SRX1 PSU Smart Receiver. Um, these were originally, I think, designed by a company called Wizard of Wire. Um, let's go to there, yep, Wizard, no S on the end, of Wire. Um, and, and multiple people have them now. Um, but what these do, and, I th and they have a smart, yeah, they have a smart one from the genius people. Um, you know, so you can buy this for $34.99 from Wizard of Wire, or $30 bucks for the Falcon version, which is somewhat similar. Um, and these connect directly to the power supply. So building a long-range receiver controller with this guy is literally like a 15 minute job okay and i and some people would say a lot less right where you unscrew these screws on the power supply you insert this these connectors you put the screws through the holes tighten it down you bring in a power inlet cable okay so we're now at 30 60 say 62 bucks with the power inlet cable 63 bucks um then you get an enclosure for something like this, honestly, I would not overcomplicate it. I would just go and buy one of these things. I bought so many of these stupid things. Amazon's probably going to tell me, you bought this a million times. Yeah, four times, but I've bought multiple in many of those, and I've bought them other places. Um, you just buy one of these for 25 bucks. So now we're at $100 and 15 minutes of your time, and you're building something that's essentially the same as this $289 um, one from Matos. And, and I love Matos Designs. I love the Dragon brand. I just don't think that it's cost effective enough yet. Like, I think you can just go and it's even cheaper if you buy, you know, the ones that don't latch on to the, uh, to the power supply automatically. Um, the ones that don't plug it, just go straight into the terminals like that. Uh, the ones where you have to use a little wire, they're a little cheaper. Um, to me, these ones are so well worth the cost and the fact that I could just grab those Put them in a socket box. Just don't throw it around. Be gentle with it. Maybe stick it down to the bottom with like a little command strip or something or, or some double-sided tape. And you've got yourself, literally, a receiver board for like 100 bucks or so and 15 minutes of your time. Um, so that, that would be my recommendation is definitely I see the value in Controllers like the Dragon having an eight port controller with four long range receiver outputs. I think this is a killer deal. I think that if you need a controller of this size, 
Um, you shouldn't go spend more on building your own because it's just not worth your time. Um, but you may enjoy it. And if you really do enjoy doing it, then go do it. Right. Um, don't listen to me. Um, but for everybody else, I really like these, especially because as experience lights has said, um, they should have a show player built into these this year, 2023, and then boom, you're off to the races. Okay. Um, but for the receiver kits, I do recommend doing it yourself. Uh, now, the last thing is these new Genius Pro controllers are even easier to assemble than any controller ever before because you literally just connect on the power supplies, connect up the pig's, pigtails. Um, so the power supplies have wires that you can clip in um, and and tighten down real easily. Um, they have these terminals, these spring terminals that don't require a screwdriver. Um, and then you would just place that into a socket box or similar. Uh, these are also an exceptional value and I can't wait till I get some because again, they're on pre-order. I've bought some, um, because they're going to be a, a really easy build, um, a lot easier than builds of the past and come in at an even lower cost than the dragons, of course. Um, so I definitely, I, I think, um, you know, I sit on the teeter-totter with these between the Dragon and the new Genius Pros where I go, oh, the Genius Pros look like they should be so stinking easy to put together. They have an epic feature set. I can't find any reason not to recommend them, especially once they get that show player. You know, it says, it says down here, standalone operation. Once we get that show player um, in there, then... I think these will be ready to rock and roll and, and definitely be one of my favorites. Um, so all that to be said, the answer is not hundred percent clear. It's not the same for everyone, but if you're new to this hobby, go grab my free guide over at learnchristmaslighting.com. And if you need to buy stuff, if you need pixels, if you need moving lights, if you need DMX lights, flood lights, whatever, we've got it over at the Learn Christmas Lighting store. And if you've gotten value from these videos, we would love to serve you in that capacity by getting you the stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.